This is a Transportation TV special report, The Evolution of Drones, a tool State Departments of Transportation are using to work safer, faster, and smarter. Cassandra Isaacson is the Director of Aeronautics for the Minnesota Department of Transportation, MnDOT. There's a lot of potential for cost savings for things like surveying, aerial photography, all of those, and so they've really been exploring it for some time. In July 2015, MnDOT civil engineers, working with a private contractor, completed a demonstration project that used drones to conduct safety inspections at four bridges across the state. What we've done is we've contracted with folks who have gone through the federal process. What that enables us to do is let them manage that risk, and then we are able to deal more with the technical issues like a bridge inspection, those kinds of things. An AASHTO March 2016 survey of Departments of Transportation found that 17 state DOTs had either researched, tested, and or used UAVs for bridge inspections, accident clearance, surveying, photography, or for identifying, monitoring, and mitigating risks posed by landslides, rock slides, or flooding. In May 2013, Michigan DOT began testing five UAVs. Steve Cook is the Michigan Department of Transportation engineer in charge of operations and maintenance. He says it's all about gathering data safer, faster, and cheaper. Our first study looked at that viability and what we found out is the unmanned aerial vehicle allowed us to provide a mechanism to keep our workers out of harm's way so they're not on the roadway, they're flying over it with this device. Cook says a manual bridge inspection involves setting up a work zone, redirecting traffic around large trucks equipped with buckets that hoist inspectors under and over the bridge so they can see the structure up close. One of the ways that you look at the bridge deck itself as far as laminations and deterioration, you go out and we chain drag or, or hammer or sound the deck for laminations. Cook estimates that a typical manual deck inspection of a freeway bridge would take eight hours to complete. Two inspectors would be needed along with two traffic control personnel to close two lanes of traffic. The total estimated cost? $4,600. Using a drone would require just two people, a drone pilot and spotter, and take just two hours at an estimated cost of just $250. The UAV allows you to put infrared on the bottom of it, scan the deck by flying over it with several passes without setting up any work zones, no lane closures, no people out in traffic, and then provide that data back in, in a way that gives you that information for asset management collection purposes and also for maintenance purposes. In Michigan's study, tiny UAVs were flown into confined or hazardous spaces like culverts and pump stations. Today, drones are collecting optical, thermal, and LIDAR data. By combining LIDAR and photography, 3D images can be created, which give transportation engineers the ability to see and measure space and distance without leaving the office. This researcher is calculating the amount of earthen material needed to fill a washed out section of roadway using data collected from a drone. In 2015, working with the Vermont Agency of Transportation, the University of Vermont used a USDOT grant to test the 1.5 pound EB, an unmanned aircraft system or UAS, for tracking ice blockages on Vermont's rivers. The EB can be pre-programmed via computer to fly autonomously. UAV, UAS, or drone, no matter what they're called, a growing number of state DOTs are interested in their fast advancing capabilities. The AASHTO March survey found an additional 16 state DOTs were either developing drone policies or working to conduct UAV research. Isaacson says one of the first steps should be to create a drone policy for your agency. Most folks view government as one thing and so they lump DOTs and natural resources agencies and all of those folks into the same government pot as law enforcement and so setting out the policies, what you're going to use the drone for, why you're going to use it, all of those kinds of things helps kind of address any of those concerns and fears and it's a nice public way of saying this is what we're doing. An FAA Section 333 exemption is required to fly a drone commercially or to conduct drone research. 
Michigan DOT is waiting for final FAA approval to begin phase two of its UAV study in conjunction with the Michigan Tech Research Institute. The FAA is expected to create new regulations to cover the use of commercial drones. The new rule has not come out yet. We're anticipating in July. So we're hoping that through the rulemaking and the registration process that we can keep track of what's happening and keep the uh, air safe for everyone. To find out more, visit www.faa.gov forward slash UAS. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting.